What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Allison. Hi! Welcome to my channel! In today's video, I am pretty excited. We are testing out some new ColourPop. There was a collection launch. I forget what the collection launch was, but some of the products in that collection were this pretty much eyeshadow palette, a little mini eyeshadow palette. I didn't find out that it was mini until I got it. So we have that. We have a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Glitter. In other words, it's a highlighter with glitter in it. Okay? <laughs> Last up, we are trying out all these liquid eyeshadows. Every single liquid eyeshadow that was launched in this collection, I bought. We are testing them out today. If you can't tell, my eyes look completely different and it's because I have all of these different colors on my eyes. Give you a little sneak peek of what these shadows look like. This is them on the eyes. Those are all the items that I purchased from ColourPop from their website. That's what we're doing today and if you want to see how all of these products worked out for me then make sure you keep on watching. We're getting straight into this video. Okay. Before we get into the shadows I need to get some highlighter on my face because I am feeling really dull. Super Shock Cheek Glitter. So it's a Super Shock highlighter. Okay. And it was $8. So I'm hoping this $8 is going to take me somewhere very nice. It is a good size highlighter. Let's touch it. It definitely has the Super Shock shadow feel to it. Here it is on my finger. Now looking at my finger, it looks kind of patchy. It looks very weird just starting off, but once you like rub it in and blend it in, it looks really nice. It definitely has like gold and green and gold, green, and pink reflex in it. Now I'm wondering, because I know these shadows don't apply very well when you use a brush. I'm just wondering, should I try my finger first? I think I will try my finger. But we gotta pin this hair back. I don't know how this is gonna go, and I'm not really good at like applying highlighter with my finger, so... Oh! Wow! Oh sh shit! Wow! That is really pretty. Even though I think it is looking a little patchy. Hmm. Once you start to blend it in, the blindingness kind of goes away. And if you've been watching me, you know I love a blinding highlight. Okay. <laughs> Let's just try to add a little bit. You know, I'm not mad at it, like, you can totally see it, I just don't know if it's as blinding as I like, but I feel like it's kind of hard for me to blend it in with my bronzer that I already have on. Another thing with highlighters like this, when you apply with your finger, I almost feel like it takes some of the foundation off because now, like, I have, like, a blemish right here, I can kind of see it now. I do want to try this highlighter using a brush, so we're going to try my highlighter brush that I've been using recently a lot. See, when with this type of formula, I just can't tell if it's like really on the brush. I mean, no fallout comes out or anything like that, but let's see what happens applying with a brush. Ooh! Oh shoot! <laughs> It starts out really blinding and then once you start to blend it in you kind of lose the blindingness but you can see all those pink gold and green reflex let's try my nose see it's kind of hard to tell if it's on there on my nose yeah I think it is and two this is like not a normal highlighter color that I wear I don't normally do like the pink type highlighter I'm gonna use my finger to get it on my cupid's bow even though I kind of just put glitter everywhere. <laughs> but let's go back in with some more product to try to build it up and see what happens. Oh yeah. But then it looks too much like actual product on my face. It's like a little chalky, patchy almost. I can't really tell if it actually does look chalky or not. I don't know. Then we have the Pretty Much palette. I'm telling you guys, I be getting played from ColourPop and the sizes of their palettes. Even though this was only $12, I just thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. So when I got it, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't 
don't remember saying it was a mini palette, but it is. There's no mirror inside. We're gonna swatch all these shadows. So we're gonna start with this one right here. Very creamy. Ooh, very pretty. It's giving me some major inner corner vibes. Has great pigment, seems to blend out pretty well. That shade is called Neither Do I. Purple, lavender, shimmer. This is called OTP. I don't know what that stands for. If you know, comment down below. It's a very pretty, bright, lavender, pinkish color. I'm not too sure. Now we're going to dip into the dark purple matte, which is called Yabish. <laughs> oh, this one's very creamy as well. Some pigment fell off as I swatch. This one seems to have a little difficulty swatching, but you can definitely build up that color and then it seems to b uh, blend out pretty good as well. Now we're gonna dip into this like gray. It's called It Me. It Me. There's not really like fallout on these because they're really creamy. This one seems to be a little bit more patchy on the swatch. It looks like a gray, but it's definitely like a light purple. It has a major purple undertone. Next shade is the bottom middle, and it's called Cool It. And this looks more of like a burgundy color. Seems to be less creamy than all the other ones. Oh, wow. A lot of pigment in this one. Oh, that's so pretty, like a cranberry color. Ooh. Yes. I've been doing a lot of purple looks recently and this is just like bringing me another like purple vibe. Here we go. Alright, last shade is this bottom one and it's called NVM. I'm guessing never mind. Oh. Definitely champagne vibes here. Yeah, here are the swatches of this pretty much palette. I think um I think I'm happy with my $12 that I spent. Alright, the moment I've been waiting for, for the liquid eyeshadows! Here are all the liquid eyeshadows. I bought every single one of them that came in this collection. I forget what the actual collection is called, so I'm sorry, I forgot. I mean, these are $7, so I was like, why not? But yeah, I'm feeling all of them, and I'm just super into liquid eyeshadows right now. I think they're, they're going to probably be one of my favorite things in 2018 as far as eyeshadows go. But we're going to swatch all of them, and then I'm going to figure out what I want to do with my eyes. First one we are going to swatch is this like pinky color called over again and it seems to kind of match with the highlighter I'm thinking so the wand looks like this a normal liquid eyeshadow wand I would say ooh very pretty Wow when I'm looking in the mirror and like it's hitting the light how the colors change Ooh, I see purple in there like a blue pink gold Wow this is so cool so freaking cool. I will say though that it seems a little patchy at first. How pretty is that? Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, next one we're jumping into is from The Valley. Oh, I just scratched myself. Oh, wow. Gosh, you guys see those scratches? That just happened. Okay, this one is kind of sheer. Um, seems to be patchy as well. It does look really pretty in the light. There's blues, pink, silver, purples in there. I think it's a very pretty color as well. I don't know about like the patchiness and stuff and how that's gonna work on the eye. We'll find out. Next shade we're going in is Now or Never, and this seems to have like some green in it. Unless it's my backdrop that's reflecting off of it. I think it was just my backdrop. So it's very champagne-y. This one seems to be patchy as well, unless it's just because it's on my arm. Moving on to Lucky Penny. And this seems like it's going to be like a white type color. Oh, wow. Uh, we do have lots of patchiness and like, like, I don't know if it's chunks of glitter that's in there that is like the patchiness part. It's all like bunching up right here. I'm sure you can't tell, but ooh, but it's the reflex are like a turquoise, teal, green. It is very pretty. It's just a little patchy. Last one. Prelude. Okay. This is the one that I feel like looks like the highlighter a little bit. It's a little streaky. I could work with it. It's totally like the highlighter. 
but in a liquid eyeshadow form. Even though there's like patchiness and streakiness pretty much in every single one of them, I still think they are all super beautiful in their own way. I think we can just like work with it and see like what happens on the eyes and now I just can't decide like what I want to put on the eyes. I'm gonna have to do one on each different eye. So we are for sure gonna use this one on my eyelid on this eye my lids are primed with some shape tape and some Laura Mercier translucent powder so let's see what happens putting this on top of a powder Okay, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow or if it's mixing with the concealer that I have on my eyes, but something weird is happening. If you were to like really look at my eyeshadow, you would be like, what is wrong with your eyeshadow? <laughs> you know? I don't know if you guys can actually like tell like what's happening, but I want to like blend it in a little bit. I'm just grabbing this like cheap pointer brush that is like one of the only ones that I have that are clean right now and I'm just gonna try to blend it in and it's not like really blending in at all. I use my finger let's try that. I think it's just mixing with the concealer or it shouldn't go on top of powder at all. What is actually happening? You know? I don't know. Before I put a color on this eye, I do want to share with you guys, once these dry, they really don't smudge at all. That's crazy. So they're not moving. They're staying right there. So I think I want to do this one. Let's just hope for the best right now. I hope the same thing doesn't happen that happened over here because I'm not feeling what's going on right here. Oh, this is so pretty though. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to blend it in to see it with the wand. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's doing something weird with my base on my eyelids. I don't like it. Um, uh, this one looks better than this one. This looks like concealer and liquid eyeshadow mixed together, <laughs> which I'm not feeling at all. And I have like lipstick all the way up here. Oh my gosh when all starts going wrong you know what I'm saying Should we just put some on the bottom lash line like why not let's just see what happens here all right I'm not mad at it <laughs> I mean I don't would never really put like liquid eyeshadow glitter shimmer on my bottom lash line it actually seemed like better or it just didn't do a like, weird thing that this thing's doing this eye looks way better than this eye I'll tell you that much so I'm kind of disappointed in this one I really like this color and how it looks and I think that's gonna work pretty well on the lid. We might as well just use this white one that has blue in it on the inner corner, why not? Oh shoot. Okay, there was like way too much product. Okay, that was weird. That totally did not do what I wanted it to. Oh my god, I look like a hot freaking mess now. Alright, I know I'm looking a little crazy. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna put some mascara on real quick and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Got my mascara on. I think I have liquid eyeshadow all up in my eyes and my eyes are tripping right now. My overall first impressions of this part of collection that I purchased myself I do really like and appreciate all of the colors or shades, I should say. I always call them colors and their shades. Anyway, I do like all of the swatches and I'm excited to try this out in my eyes and maybe I'll even film a tutorial on this eyeshadow palette on my eyes. But I'm excited to use it. I don't think it was a waste of $12. I think all those shadows are creamy, they have pigment, they seem to blend well. Uh, but then again, I didn't use them on my eyes, so I don't have like a final say on that, but I am excited to try it out. This highlighter, 
I don't think it's going to be like blinding how I really want it, but I do think it has a great effect on it. As far as all of these liquid eyeshadows go, I am kind of disappointed. I thought that they were going to just be better, I guess. I thought that they were going to be kind of like the Stila glitter eyeshadows that I have, where it's just like straight up pigment. There's no really streaking or anything like that. But maybe I applied them wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have put a base on my eyelids. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to continue to play with them. I think this brings us to the end of this ColourPop First Impressions Review Try-On. Have any of you guys out there got any of these items from their launch collection? That was quite some time ago, but oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this ColourPop review, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!